friends, welcome. It's Kara with Kinsley's Creative Palette. And I am so stinking excited today. Like, um, I'm sorry I'm running late. It was like nervous energy because the virtual paint party is open. Oh my gosh, it's open. So if you would be a doll and sprinkle the love, um, I actually have a prize to give out. Uh, for anyone who sprinkles this um, to all of their friends, you can sprinkle it anywhere in groups. You can sprinkle it on your profile, however you want to do it. But um, I'm going to give away, these are mini mason jars. So they're like smaller versions of the big door hangers. And I'm going to give one away um, tomorrow for anyone who shared the video today. So, I will go back through and see who all shared, and then we will pick a winner, and I will grab your address and send it to you. So, I wanted to paint flowers today. Good morning, Lisa Allen. How are you, love? I hope you're hanging in there. Us social people, like, we need some interaction right about now. I'm going to move this real quick so it's not in the way. Um, but... I wanted to paint flowers, and so I was trying to figure out what I had in the studio already cut that would allow me to paint some fun flowers. And last night, I was working on a bunch of my downloadable templates, and a lot of them, before I started doing Procreate, I didn't color them in and like make them look like door hangers. And so I was working on one yesterday, and I did that, and I thought that would be really fun to paint. So let's get started. Oh, I've got to roll my cart over here. This weekend, friends, I, um, we've, so, all right, let me back up. I've had this, like, to-do list, these projects. To me, they're kind of like working out. They're those things that, like, you say if you have time, you're going to do, but, like, you don't actually do because you don't want to do them. Well, I have been trying to work through those because I keep thinking that if I can get done with all my projects, that God will let us out of this house again at some point. So, I am trying to use this time wisely. And this weekend, it was so fun. Um, I got in here and like cleaned out so much. Like so, so, so much. And um, it feels so amazing in here this morning. Like I knew I was going to be in here all week uh, because I'll be going live every day this week because our virtual paint party is open which you are all welcome to join us. It's for $19 a month is your membership. It gets you um, so much stuff that I'll tell you about in a second. But anyway, I knew I was going to be in here all week, and I was like, Kara, seriously, clean it up. So I did that, and um, it feels so nice. Also cleaned out the garage. What else did we do? Cleaned out the freezers. Uh, made a list of, like, all the food so that I would know what we had if I was running to the grocery store to get something um, since we're trying to minimize those trips. Yeah, so all the things. And I keep thinking that if um, I get them all done, like maybe I can leave this house again one day. So I have a new gadget on here. Whee! I got this. Let me see if it has the price tag on it. For $3.99 at TJ Maxx. And it not only elevates your wood so that you can paint the sides and just bring them off and paint and push them over, um, but it also allows you to just spin it while you're working. So I highly recommend you get one. I'm sure that they have them at Walmart too. Hello, Faye. Hello, Christy. I'm not sure who all's on this morning, so jump on and say hi. Tell me where you're tuning in from. And... Um, I will be talking about um, the virtual paint party some, but if you have questions that I do not answer, please ask. Uh, we only open twice a year. We open in September, and then we open again in April-ish. Hello, Robin. And uh, we are just so excited. And there's Carolyn from Mobile, Al Mobile Alabama. So, we are just excited to have you all. Remember, if you sprinkle the love, you will be entered um, into a raffle to win one of these shipped right to you. So, you can go back and paint along with me because this video will be hopefully on Facebook forever. Um, unless Facebook crashes or, you know, one of the things. But I am just painting. Good morning, Christine from New Jersey. 
I am using, this is um, a Craft Essentials brand. It's the ones that Michael sell. And this color is called Surf Blue. Another good color for this blue for the mason jar is um, the Tiffany Blue. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, everybody that sprinkles will be entered to win. Um, okay, so Tiffany Blue is another good blue. I am using my favorite wide brush. And this week, I'm actually recording, thank you, thank you, Peggy. I'm actually recording a series for our new members. Um, it's a quick start guide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through, like I'm going to show you brands, um, everything that I use to, ah, y'all are awesome. Thank you, Angela, um, to paint. Like, I, after doing this for a few years, like, I have some of, you know, my tried and true favorite supplies, and um, so I'm going to be recording all that for our new people, because I do know that a lot of the people who have messaged me and told me that they were interested in joining us this time, um, it's their first time, or they're just getting into door hangers, and guys, there's nothing worse than wanting to do a project that is supposed to be stress-free and like relaxing just to, to get to the point where you're like, I don't even know what I need. So I'm trying to eliminate some of that um, possible stress. So I've got gray. This is just called gray. This is um, also a Michaels brand. And I'm painting the top of it gray. Good morning, Heather. Heather, if you will sprinkle the video, you'll be entered to win um, one of these mason jar cutouts that you can paint at home. Okay, so my blue is not all the way dry, so if I touch my blue with my gray, it is gonna mix, because anytime you put wet on wet, you are mixing your paint. So, I am going to talk just a little bit while we keep coating this. This is going to need some more blue. I've got to let that dry first. Friends, if you try to put wet on wet, like your second coat and your bottom coat is still wet, you're, it gets gritty and you're like pulling the little pieces of almost dried paint across your board. So it's very, very important that you do not paint um, your second coat until your first coat's dry. Good morning, Lisa from Louisiana. Girl, what I wouldn't give for some Cajun food right now. I have lots of family in, in Louisiana and um, Texas. And I swear, like, there's no better food than those two states. Like, it just, it does not get any better. All right. So, I've got a little bit right here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gosh, y'all are Y'all are awesome. I love y'all so much. So I want to talk about, while I paint these coats, because it's kind of boring just watching me coat the paint. I gotta wait, it's not all the way dry. Um, I'm gonna set these down for just a minute. Oh, thank you, Holly. You wanna see something? Y'all wanna see it behind the scenes? So I love to sew, but I don't get to do it very much anymore. And um, I, whenever I started doing my live videos here, my background was all of my sewing stuff. Here, I'm going to show y'all. Look, can y'all see? Like my sewing machine, my um, serger, like all of that's back there. And it's important to me. Um, <laughs> yes. um, it's important to me to be able to access that, um, all those machines easily because honestly and this is something I talk to my membership about quite often you've got to find ways to be creative quickly if you make it a big deal like let's say you want to do something creative but you don't have all of your stuff together or it makes too big of a mess chances are you're not going to do it and so I've, I've said in other videos I love these rolling carts with all of the shelves because if you get the single, you can put, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Yes, <laughs> You can fit a lot of stuff in here and you can just roll it like into a coat closet when you're not using it. Heck, you could cover it with a tablecloth and stick it in the corner if you wanted to and put a lamp on top of it. Um, but 
if you will keep um, something like this that's easy to pull out and put away, and you have your, dis your disposable tablecloth or reusable tablecloth, um, and all of your stuff right together, guys, you have a better chance of relaxing and actually doing your craft. So um, that is just my little tip. So in saying that, that's why I hide my sewing machines because I like to be able to just pull my curtain back and sew. Um, so anyway, find ways. Um, I heard a, it was a, actually a business coach one time. She was talking about how her husband um, changed the light bulbs in their closet and they were um, one of those like energy efficient that take a while to warm up and she said what she found was she was going into her closet and it was taking so long for her that bulb to get bright enough for her to really be able to see that she was wasting like five or six minutes in the morning and it was frustrating to her and she goes you know what so I had to come up with you know a way to fix it and she goes all it took was a light bulb so guys if all it takes is a rolly cart to get you to be creative or um, you know a curtain to hide your mess like whatever it is like find a way problem solve because being creative is the very best thing that you can do for your mental health aside from you know exercise which I love so much. Can you tell? <laughs> so, I seriously am, um, I want you all to find a way to do something creative and have that outlet where you can sit down and you can de-stress. All right, I'm putting another coat of this blue on. Hey, friends, if you're just joining us, if you will sprinkle this video onto your, you can sprinkle it to a group or a page or your profile, wherever you want. If you'll sprinkle this, um, anyone who shows up as sprinkled, um, and if you don't know what that word means, it's actually the S-H-A-R word. Um, but if you will do that, uh, everyone will be entered to win one of these mason jar cutouts shipped right to your door so that you can come back to this video and paint along. So, so far I've done surf blue on the bottom and gray on the top. And if I was smart, I would have my apron on. But since I'm not, I don't have it on. Okay. So, I've got as much paint as I can get right now. Um, I do keep, and this is something you can put in your rolly cart. I, anytime I find, because I have the paint studio, so a lot of times when um, I'm out and about and like I'm at a bargain store and they have blow dryers that are five bucks or whatever, I will usually buy them after I plug it in and make sure they work. Um, but I'll buy them and then that way I can take them over to the studio or I can keep one with my craft supplies and stick them in one of the drawers and that way I have it. So you can just shoot your... <coughs> painting with the blow dryer to get it dry. Thank y'all so much, so much, so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all know what my uh, table says, and this is kind of my um, slogan, and it's funny because I only found, hello, Tina's here, Terry's here, Catherine in the house, Laura. Okay, so I only found three words whenever I walked into um, Target one day. It was like their dollar spot or whatever. I only found three words. And I'm going to show you all what those words were. Because you may see them in some of my pictures. I usually put them in my virtual paint party pictures. So the words were create, inspire, and teach. And guys, that's exactly what the virtual paint party is designed to do, is create, inspire, and teach. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that while this dries. <clears throat> so if you, thank you so much, Susan. Thank you, Gail. If you um, haven't heard of the virtual paint party or you've been thinking about doing it, if you have questions, please leave me those questions. But I'm going to go through some of the benefits to um, the virtual paint party real quick. So the first one, obviously, we paint a door hanger every month. 
And there are two levels of membership. You can either get a blank mailed to you, and that is $43 a month. That includes your shipping, it includes the video, it includes your access to everything else. The only difference is you actually get the blank mailed. But I have a digital option for those of you who like to save money or DIYers, and every now and then you like to use fun tools. So I teach you how to use your jigsaw. I show you what wood you need, um, all the things, and I give you a template where you can trace this out onto your board and cut it out. And that membership is only $19 a month. So you don't get anything mailed to you, but you do get the template and you can paint along with the project. But there's so much more. Um, so I started back in the beginning of February, end of January, beginning of February. I ran an ad on Facebook. And a lot of you have found me because of that ad. And what that ad was, was it was a free lettering workshop. It was how to use templates to letter your door hangers. And what I had found is most people who paint door hangers struggle with the writing. And so I started creating templates that you could purchase and you could print out and you could set it down on your board and trace around it. So that has been super helpful for a lot of people, but we've taken it a step farther and I have created a couple of fonts that are fun and I've, I've actually taken some that, that not ones that I created, just some that I purchased and turned them into traceables so that if you really want to learn to letter, just basic lettering, we're not like a full-blown lettering membership or anything, but if you want to just start learning how to practice, um, we're going to do that once a month. So we'll have a monthly like lettering project where I teach you a new technique or a new tip or I show you with um, perhaps using a paintbrush versus a marker or a Posca pen. Uh, so anyway, all of that is included. So right now we've got the door hanger a project and we have the lettering project. We also have a Facebook community where you can share and we um, have contests in there and we have two contests a month and guys like when we have our contest you actually get prizes mailed to you. They're always surprises. I don't tell you ahead of time. Um, I just the second week of the month I go back and I look to see who had the most interaction and my top contributors for the month get put into a raffle as well as anyone who made a Kinsley's Creative Palette project. So any of my templates, any of the monthly projects, whatever you wanted to paint, um, you share it with the group and hashtag it. And there's a certain hashtag you use. And um, after you do that, your name goes into a drawing. So two prizes a month. And last month we did a whole package that I sent to um, one of the winners. We only had, this will be the first month that we do two winners. But last month, we, I sent tracing paper, markers, pencils, erasers, all the things that you needed to get started with our lettering workshop. So I try to make it relevant to your whatever craft we're doing. Um, but every now and then, I surprise people and send a fun scarf or a wallet or something that's girly that maybe, you know, you just, you don't get surprises in the mail. So two prizes a month are given out to our virtual paint party people. Um, and all you have to do is participate. So basically, I um, am rewarding you for participating. Chip, I will message you. Thank you. Uh, okay, another thing, guys, this is so stinking awesome. So we have, let me back up and say, I, I have a, a business coaching um, group with my business partner in Kentucky. Her name's Christy Wells, she's phenomenal. And we also have a teammate who lives over the pond, um, and that is our VA, Amy. And Amy messaged me a few weeks ago, and she goes, Kara, I want to come paint. And, like, we're talking, she is in Cyprus. Like, she, her home base is the UK. And I said, okay, well, when do you want to come? And she goes, I think you need to have a members retreat. Like, I think it would be really fun to get all of these ladies together that have never met and have a members retreat. And I have a studio. It holds about 25 people. And I said, well, you know what? I could do that. Like they, you know, I could, I can do that. And she said, okay, well, let's put it together. So in 2021, we are having a members retreat and any current virtual paint party member um, is invited to come at no charge. So we will be doing two projects. 
It's going to be super low key. We're going to have a Friday night get together with friends. Like everybody can meet, dinner, all that good stuff because I love to eat. Uh, Saturday, we'll have two projects. We'll have a lunch break between. And then Saturday night, we'll probably go out to dinner again or order pizza or something so that we can all hang out. And then everybody can travel home on Sunday. So that is included in your membership. You just have to be an active member at the time of the retreat. Okay, another thing is all of my templates, my downloadable digital templates, I do all kinds of them. I've got flip-flops and watering cans and mason jars and um, mascots, all kinds of things on the website. And my members get 50% off all digital downloads all the time. So every month there's a new coupon code and you never pay full price. So basically all of the templates are $5 or less. So you get them for $250 or less. That leads me into the next one, which is the members vault. So we have over two years worth of paint videos in the vault. And in the vault, you can go back and paint any of those. This is the very last time that I'm opening the, the virtual paint party that you get instant access to the vault. Uh, in September, the price is going up significantly. We won't be under $20 anymore. Um, we're gonna be hovering probably closer to 30 and 50. Uh, so this is the last chance to get um, the, the lower price, which is 19 or 43 a month. But um, you get access to the member's vault. That's not something that we're gonna do in September. In September, you'll have a waiting period, probably three months. I haven't kind of worked that out yet. So this is the last time that you get the cheaper price and you get instant access to the vault. So as long as you are a member in good standing, you pay your membership every month and you don't have failed payments, you lock in at that lower rate forever. So like the people who locked in um, at a lower price, now they get access to the, um, the lettering workshops and all of that, it's just included, like they don't pay anymore. So once you lock in, as long as you're in good standing financially with us and you, um, we only like kind members, we, um, we want this to be an uplifting place. So all that said, you lock in your price and you get to keep it forever. And I mentioned this a few minutes ago, but I will be doing a walkthrough showing you like my favorite base coat paintbrush, uh, my favorite drill, my favorite uh, jigsaw, all the things. And so um, I'll be helping you make your first door hanger easily. So all that is included in your membership, $19 a month. It's like Netflix for crafters. Um, obviously when you leave the membership, you lose access to everything. So it's while you're a paying member, it's kind of like your, you know, your cable or phone service. You only get it while you're paying. So that's what it is. Uh oh, I think I may have just, did I lose everybody? I just, no, my, my, my internet went down for a second. All right. I think we're just about dry. So I'm going to start on my flowers. Now I'm gonna show you, you can see the wood through this a little bit. Um, if you want to, you can paint another coat of the blue. And if you ever have a color that is transparent where it's showing the wood through, if you mix a tiny bit of white with it, you can um, mask that. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna grab um, so my very favorite paint brushes, besides this big one for base coating, which I only like plastic handled brushes. You'll see me use some wood, but that's only because I already had them. I don't love them. I like plastic handled brushes and these triangular ones are my absolute fave. Okay. I'm going to grab paint and because pink is my signature color, I think we're going to do, I think we're going to do pink and orange. I don't know. I might change my mind. But I'm going to grab some pink paint. And I'm going to do, do pink in one. I'm going to do pink in two because I'm going to mix white with it. Then I'm going to get my white paint. Oh. Okay. I'm going to get my white paint. I'm going to mix a little bit with that pink in this. Uh, if y'all can't see, I'm mixing in an egg carton. Then I'm going to get, I'm going to put some white in another one actually in two more. So I've, so far I've got strong pink, pink watered down with white, a little bit of white in a cup, a lot of white in a cup. So now I'm going to go orange and 
I'm gonna squirt orange, straight orange in one, and then we're gonna mix the orange with the white in the other. And then the last color that I want is this limey green color. All right. Okay, so I when I do floral on a project, and remember if you sprinkle the video, um, you're entered to win one of these. I will draw the winner tomorrow and ship it out so that you can paint your own. So if you come on, if you just come on, we're talking about the virtual paint party, and um, if you sprinkle the video, you um, will be entered to win. So those are the two big announcements. Okay, I'm gonna grab a smaller brush, and the first thing I like to do when I'm doing floral is kind of map it out with, and you can do this with a pencil if you want to. Um, I'm gonna use a colored pencil in white just because uh, I wanna be able to paint over it. If you use pencil lead, like regular pencil lead, it smudges, but if you use colored pencils, they don't smudge, and you can paint over them. So I'm gonna lay in some leaves. I'm just going to kind of draw these in first. Let's see. Um, I'm do another one here. All right, and then I'm going to draw roughly where I want my flowers to be. And they just need to be kind of squishy circles. And then I think I'll overlay one right here. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna take my paint. I'm gonna do green first, because I'm gonna paint my flowers first, or my leaves, sorry. I'm laying my leaves in first because the flowers are gonna come over the top of the leaves. So when you're working with this, you kinda wanna work from the back to the front. So obviously we painted our base coat, which was the blue. Now we're gonna add in our leaves. Guys, if you have questions about um, all the stuff we just talked about with the virtual paint party, um, ask me and I can answer them. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, Ashley. All right. I turn my brush sideways and flat, like you can use it both ways, like for a narrower painting or for um, more fill. All right, y'all are so awesome. So the virtual paint party will only be open until Friday. I don't know if I told you that or not. And then it opens again in September at the higher price point. We've been um, adding a lot of new stuff in there and we were gonna raise the price this time, but we decided to do one more because we've had so many people find us because of the, uh, find us because lettering workshop that we thought, you know what, we'll give them a chance to get in at this the lower rate before we raise it. Okay, so I laid my leaves in. You can see that. Oh, look, precious. Hey, Mary. Christy says Raylan is sending me some love this morning. Raylan is my business partner, Christy's daughter. All right, so I've got the green in. Ideally, we would let it dry all the way, but it's really not that, um, it's not, oh, not that wet. So, I'm going to do some squishy flowers, and I'm literally just kind of wiggling my brush, making a weird-shaped circle with petals almost. We're looking for imperfection here, guys. We just want it to be fun. Hello, Denise. Y'all remember if you jump on, sprinkle the love so that I can get you entered to win your own mason jar cut out to paint at home during this crazy pandemic. All right, so I painted that one. Now I'm gonna dip in my pink and white and I'm just kind of mixing them in the little cup right here. And I think we'll do this one. No, we're gonna do this one. Just trying to see. 
love the way that looks when it's like mixed. Now it's kind of, I don't know, it almost turns a purpley color. Thank you, thank you, thank you, me. Um, Stephanie, I, if you'll go back to the beginning of the video, I gave some other tips and stuff, and I'll post it in a few minutes, but this was only $3.99 at TJ Maxx. It's a Lazy Susan. Well, I think you said that. Sorry about that. It's, yep, it's just a Lazy Susan. Um, I found it at TJ Maxx. Obviously, they're closed right now. It's devastating, but, um, yeah. You can get them, I'm sure, at... Walmart or Target. I'm trying to think if there's any other places. All right. So I've got a dark pink and a light pink. Friends, I didn't use two pinks. I used one pink and I added white. And when we do that, we stay in the same color family. So we don't have to worry about the undertones being different if we pick two pinks. You are very, very welcome. So I'm going to grab another brush. It's another flat brush. And I'm going to go into this um, orange and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just kind of being squiggly. I'm going to have to bring that all the way up. Now, orange is a super transparent color. And what did we say about transparent colors? We need to add some white. So I'm dipping in my white and then into my orange and this first layer I'll have to make it a little bit lighter just so I can get the coverage that I need. Hello, Katie. Hey, friends, if you um, jump on, sprinkle, 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 so you can be entered to win. We are talking about the virtual paint party today, and I'm so stinking excited that it is open. We did our first, and Miss Mary was on the other day, we did our first lettering, just basic, um, to give you guys some confidence when you're um, lettering your door hangers. We did, um, we did our first video the other day. Hey, Hillary. Oh my goodness. I need to see Graham. Can I have a FaceTime with him? Nathan promised me Friday and then he forgot about me. All right, so here's where we're at. This is going to be super, super whimsical. Um, so I'm hoping that my video is still working because it keeps popping up telling me I'm losing my internet for some reason. All right, so I need to let that dry just a tiny bit. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush and we are gonna lay in I'm gonna do an angled brush it needs to have some give to it though let's see I, think I might switch to this one not an angle this is um, I think it's like a number six I don't know my see this is why I don't use wooden paint brushes let me just tell y'all I use paint brushes that have plastic handles because I tend to leave mine in the water way too long and you'll ruin the handle part if they're wooden like the the outside peels off. So anyway, yeah, I don't really know what number this is. It's a number, but it's a really fun brush. It's just like tall and skinny and it has a lot of give to it. So I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to do kind of a, um, it's almost like a C, a squiggly C. And we're just going to go around and it doesn't look like much, um, from like when you're right up on it, but it's going to look super cute when we're done. So we just did some squiggly. See that? Uh-oh. What was that mad face for? And sad face. Uh-oh. Who did I make upset? I didn't mean to. And then I'm gonna dip in my dark pink. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I just kind of start in the middle and squiggle. And then I need to go. Beth, is this seriously your first live with me? Welcome. That makes me so happy. If you missed it, we um, talked all about the virtual paint party and it's only open until Friday. But um, we have a contest going on today. If you sprinkle the video with your friends on a Facebook group or wherever, um, I will be picking a winner to win one of these cutouts and it will be shipped right to your door. So if you would like to enter to win, just sprinkle that video. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm glad to know. Did y'all see it's Raylan that, that got upset. She, she pushed the mad button. All right. So I've, I've got the first layer of squiggles in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Beth. 
friends, if you want to use the same brush, like let's say your favorite brush is in the water, these microfiber towels are phenomenal. <clears throat> I just pull my brush out and I can use it straight away. All right, so for my green, I'm gonna mix some white with it so I can get a, a lighter color. And then we're just gonna do some accents. Make sure you have enough paint on your brush so that it glides when you're doing these. And friends, if you, you may have noticed, I paint with a trimmer. So um, my lines are not always perfect, but I don't do it for perfection. I do it for relaxation. <coughs> so now I'm going to dip in my white. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some white between the um, other squiggles. And we're going to do that here and here and here. So is everybody going stir crazy? Because I am ready for like night out with my friends, maybe a movie date, anybody else. It's funny, there's a movie we wanted to see in the theater. It was the, um, I can only imagine, no, 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 sorry. Um, oh gosh, was it Chris Tomlin? Anyway, there was a movie that came out mid-March that we wanted to see. I was going to rent it online. Oh, I'm sorry, Faye. I, um, on our virtual paint party videos, I do zoom in closer, but I the only way I can do this is if um, I can I can't interact with you guys if I if I'm zoomed in because then the camera's down. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more of this darker color in. So basically, we're just kind of layering colors into our squiggly flowers. And you can kind of blend it if you want to and make them more like C's. And when you're working with wet on wet, it blends very easily. So you have the option to um, make them look more just like C's or more like squiggles. They look more contemporary and whimsical if they are the squigglies. If you can see the difference in those. I'm just going to keep adding in, mixing in some colors until I get that flower the way I want it. Okay, I think, let me work down here just a little bit. Okay, I think this top flower is done. Can y'all see that? And so I started with the squigglies and then, then I decided to kind of blend them. So I just made a C shape with my paintbrush. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Now this one needs to stay lighter than the top one so that they don't completely blend together. So let me get a little bit more of this lighter. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I when um when I record the other videos I try to get a like downward view so that everybody can see. All right, I'm gonna switch to the orange. <gasps> Yay, Mary said she finally got a doctor's appointment. She's been in a lot of pain. I'm glad that I'm glad that they're finally gonna see you. All right. Oh, I love this. So fun. So last week, or maybe it was two weeks ago, I guess, when I painted, I ended up dropping 
my painting off on a doorstep. Y'all think I should drop this one off on a doorstep too? <gasps> Thank you, Mary. You're so precious. I think I should bless someone, make their day, put a little smile on their face. All right, so there's our three flowers. Can y'all see those? Now I'm gonna dip in my, put my paintbrush back in the water. And I need this to dry a little bit. So, oh Beth, so um, my hairdresser is like having a really hard time with the lock-in, like the social distancing. And um, so I dropped the last one off on her doorstep. But, I have somebody in mind to drop this one off. Do y'all think I should do it? Think I should surprise somebody? Or do you think I should let all of you say, um, send it to me and send it to one of you? What do y'all think? Think I should surprise somebody locally? I just put that paintbrush in here. Oh, it's this one. Um, are you saying yes, surprise someone locally, Beth? Okay, so I'm going to go up here to the top. I'm going to get black. Well, no, I'm not because I don't have it up here. So I'm going to get a darker gray. And I'm going to do the top. Yes, surprise someone. Okay, I will, I will, I will. I love doing stuff like that. And I've got to get out today to get milk because we're almost out. So I can just surprise someone on the way to getting milk. Okay, so I'm just going to do some random swishes up here to look like a jar top. A little bit forward there. I don't wanna overdo it. Okay, so some random swishes at the top. You have under your door hanger. Yes, it's a Lazy Susan. It was $3.99 at TJ Maxx, but they do sell them at Walmart and Target and other places. It just helps so you can paint the edges of your sign um, and so you can turn your sign while you're painting it. Yes, that's what I'll do. That's what I will do. Okay, let's see. Surprise someone locally. If you just jumped on, um, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we talked in the beginning about the virtual paint party. It's only open until Friday and we paint together every month in a private group. Um, and anyone who sprinkles the video on their friend to their um, Facebook profile to a group wherever uh, I will pull all of the shares oh I wasn't supposed to say that word I will pull all of the sprinkles in um, and I will give away a blank one of these I will be mailing it out so that you can paint your own let's see if you can find someone that is a widow or widowed in your area Oh, Nelda, I'm sorry, honey. It, um, so I don't, we don't, I don't know a lot of, I know mostly people my own age because we've only lived here for a few years, but I could definitely ask, um, about that because, yes, I'm sure that somebody knows somebody who would, um, love to have a surprise. Okay, so... I think we're going to do, what if I did choose joy? Do y'all hear the birds? Can y'all hear our birds? All right, so I'm going to get my pencil again because I can cover it up. This is where we're at. Okay, this is just a small one. Thank you so much, friends. And I'm going to let her on here. I may edit that. I may make it look a little bit different. But, and I know you can't see that, but trust me, I can see it on here. Um, you can paint the back side. What a lot of people do is paint it with either black paint or chalk paint. But um, if you're going to hang it outside, I highly suggest that you paint the back of it. A lot of times, too, especially with ones like these, good morning, Mona, 
they are reversible. So like you could do this on one side and you could do something different on the other. Like I have one that's painted like a jack-o'-lantern. So it's like a jack-o'-lantern face. I have another one that's a Santa suit. It's really cute. So you can do, you know, different stuff with the other side and you can flip it. I like reversible door hangers. Okay. I think I need, I'm going to work on my lettering here just a little bit before I, Hey friend. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I don't like the S. So let me paint over that real quick. Let's see. So if you if you write your lettering, this is why I like to use pencil first. Or not pencil, colored pencils. And if you use your colored pencils, then you can go back and paint over what you don't like before you actually paint the lettering. You can also use templates. Those birds are just sounding gorgeous today. We have four. So they're in there just talking up a storm. All right. I think I might do that B looks a little bit. Yep, yeah, there we go. That'd be better. Okay, so I'm going to use my Posca pen. If you don't know what a Posca pen is, it is like the Cadillac of paint markers. Comes in all different colors, but I always keep a black and a white at my paint table. Thank you guys so very much. I appreciate y'all so much. All right, so I've got Choose Joy lettered on here, a kind of birds. So I have a love bird, two cockatiels no one cockatiel sorry and two parakeets so one of them you hear that it sounds so pretty this morning like they don't usually i think the back door must be open and the kids must be playing because they don't usually make this much noise all right i'm gonna use the white and this is my posca pen i realize it's backwards for you guys um, the one I'm using, it's in my Amazon affiliate store. It's the 2.5 mm. You could pick somewhere that has been shut in. Yes. You are, yes, you are so right. I could. That would be really good. And in fact, I know someone who is like that. Okay. I'm going to prime my pen on this. Just just make sure that it's, it's right. And then I'm just going to... All right, then I'm just gonna start lettering. So I'm just gonna trace over that white mark or that white uh, pencil that I did. <sighs> Nelda, I don't know which one makes the most noise, but I can tell you that if I could only have one, I would get a hand raised cockatiel. If you're only gonna have one, you wanna make sure that you're gonna play with it. Because they do, they're very social. And so if they don't have another, they're gonna need, they're gonna need you to be their friend. Does that make sense? Hello, Miss Karen. Um, all right, so I'm just, can y'all see how great this pen is? It's amazing. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over my letters. All right, now I'm gonna lift my pen right here because my S, I'm gonna do it different than I had originally did it. And then I go right into my E. Okay, so I'm gonna have to clean that up a little bit. Y'all see that? I'm gonna clean it up and like thicken it and make it more like faux calligraphy here in just a minute. Let me do this bottom one. I love to exaggerate the O. Okay, so now I have the base, my base on there. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna work on thickening these. So let me let that dry just a little bit. And I'm gonna go thicken all my downstrokes.
I will be painting live um, Monday through Friday this week at 11. So feel free to join me every day if you have the time. I would love to chat, answer questions. And these pins are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, these pins are, they're just, they're phenomenal. Well, hello from Virginia. Y'all don't forget to sprinkle the love so you can be entered to win your own blank mason jar to paint at home. I'll be picking a winner tomorrow. I might even pick it live. Would y'all like that? I can pull the list before I go live tomorrow. And pick our winner. Whoops. One up, down. A little bit thicker. Ah, oh, friends, look how cute. Choose joy. I'm gonna work a little bit on. So a lot of times when you are painting. You will look at it up close and it's okay. And then you look at it from a distance and you see things that need to be changed. Um, so you can totally go back and change at that point. I'm gonna accent my leaves with this white. And then you could also go back in and accent. How do you enter to win? You sprinkle. I can't use that other S word, but you click that button that says S something and you sprinkle it on your timeline or um, wherever on your, you could do it on a page, a group. All right. The last thing that I'm going to do, and I wish I had, let me look and see if I have one. I have a whole pack of Posca pins, guys. This is one of those things that if um, you have a family member that says, I don't know what to get you for your birthday, Posca pins are like a crafter's dream. So this big pack, it was, um, I guess there's 15 of them in there. It had like all different colors, but it has gray, which I want to do a little bit of accenting on like shadow on my letters, but black is going to be too harsh for this and so I could either use a paintbrush and I could accent that way but I really wanted to use a marker because that makes it easier. So I'm going to prime this one. I have not used it yet. Okay so I'm going to prime this one and I'm going to add a shadow to my letters. Um, let's see I'm on the inside. Hmm. I think I'll do, I'll do it on this out this outside. Make sure that you're all the way dry before you do this. Because you will mess up the little nib or the tip if you aren't dry. Uh, I did hear someone oh wrong way. Someone did tell me that Posca pen nibs can be purchased, I think, on Dick Blick, and I have, um, I have a Dick Blick link on my website. But it is, it's a great place to order craft supplies, and they run um, a lot of like free shipping specials. Last time I checked, Hobby Lobby does not carry these. I order them from Amazon. And there's a link on my website to all of my favorite products. So I order them from Amazon or from Dick Blick. Let's see, I think I'm going to add a tiny 
any shadow there. Oh, that's good to know. Um, Peggy, thank you for telling us that. Hey, friends, if you just jumped on, make sure that you enter to win um, your own mason jar cutout to paint at home by clicking that little button and um, sprinkling the love. Another name for tripla. Only a few colors. Uh, so, tripla and Revolution Ply are similar. Tri-Ply is what I buy at Home Depot. Revolution Ply is what they sell at Lowe's. I am not a fan of Revolution Ply. Uh, it splinters, to me, it splinters worse than the, than the Tri-Ply. So I buy the Tri-Ply or the MDF. And Miss Mary Morgan says that Michaels has them. So friends, I'm just doing a little bit more um, shading. Let's see. I think that's probably good. Yeah. All right. So let me show you what a different, thank y'all so much. I appreciate that. Okay. Let me show you the difference that the shading makes. Can y'all see that? It's kind of hard to tell, but it just kind of adds that a little bit of, I don't know, oomph to your words. And since I did it in gray, it all is cohesive. So, I think that we are done for today, but what do you think? Should I go drop this off on somebody's doorstep? What size use? 2.5 mm. Jamie, thank you. That is so very sweet. You are very welcome for all the info. And remember, the virtual paint party is open. It's only $19 a month, and you can paint with me in my private group every month. We have over two years worth of um vault videos so you can go back and paint other projects for just the cost of the template which members get half off so for two dollars and fifty cents you can go back and paint 24 other paintings um, so you can just pick and choose and give you lots to do during this crazy time where we're at home and we would love to join have you join us today we do have a bonus uh, we have a bonus today only through midnight I'm sending you two free templates one of them is the flip-flop and the other one is the Popsicle, which we will be painting this week, which I'm super excited about. So um, if you join before midnight tonight, you will get those two bonus templates. Um, <laughs> good. Yes, it's you've got to do something. You have to do something to be creative and um, get out of funk. Because sometimes, guys, like I saw a meme on Facebook that said, with the whole pandemic that you're either scrubbing baseboards with a q-tip or you're like sitting in a corner drinking wine and like seriously that's what it feels like is some days i'm all ready to go and other days i'm like man this is the worst but praise the lord um, i'm thankful we have a house to live in and i have my kids are healthy and all the things so it could be a whole lot worse so how to join jamie i will post the link for you um, yes, oh, gosh, I would love to have y'all. And remember, if there's there's two price points, there's the 19 and the 43. The 43, I mail you a blank every month. Um, you can always go back and purchase the old blanks. But if you purchase the $19 program, which it's like a Netflix for crafters, I show you how to cut your own sign. I tell you what wood you need to buy, like all the things. So you're not just going to be like, oh my gosh, um, now what do I do? Because we're going to answer all those questions. So I will post the link as soon as I jump off. I don't know if Amy is still on and could post it, but I will do that. And I hope to see a bunch of you in the membership today. We are, uh, we are, we are, uh, I'm sorry, um, admitting people into the group as soon as we see them today. Um, we, everybody will be in by next week and we are just so excited so again here is our super cute little mason jar that we painted and whoever uh, sprinkles the video will be entered to win their own blank to paint at home 
You can come back to this video and rewatch it and paint along. You can mute me so you don't have to hear all the talking. You can just watch. But I am so glad y'all joined me. Um, thank y'all so much. You have no idea. Like, sometimes when I jump on, uh, I think to myself, like, it's just going to be me. I'm just going to be talking to myself. So it's so awesome when um, y'all ask questions. And I, I just really love, love, love to um, help other women find this creative journey. So thank y'all. And I will, have, I will talk to y'all later. I'm going to run and grab some lunch and go bless someone's life by dropping this off on their doorstep or hanging it on their door. And I thank y'all so much. Have a good one. Bye.